So we all know about the scalability trilemma. The idea that you can only have two of the following, security, decentralization, and scalability. But what if I told you that there was a layer one blockchain out there that not only thinks it has solved all three, but it's actually added a fourth component into the mix, confidentiality. The blockchain in question is Oasis Network, a layer one privacy blockchain that might very well be the first to solve the blockchain quadrilemma, quadrilemma? I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, with Oasis Network, you can have a blockchain that is secure, decentralized, scalable, and private. Now this is a huge leap forward in the world of blockchain technologies, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about decentralized applications. Unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that, and there are some pretty big hurdles that it will need to overcome. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into Oasis Network and what potentially makes this so special, whilst also exploring their ecosystem and tokenomics, before discovering any hurdles or future competition that they may have to overcome. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, because this is one you are not going to want to miss. Let's go exploring. Oasis Network aims to solve the problem of data privacy in decentralized networks. Now, we all know that traditional blockchain platforms provide secure and transparent transactions, but they often don't provide adequate privacy protection for sensitive data. Oasis Network, however, uses a combination of techniques to provide the privacy and security to enable data sharing and collaboration between multiple parties, such as companies, governments, or even individuals, that provides that confidence that key data is not being shared unnecessarily. Up until now, data transfer via traditional blockchains has been largely dominated by traders and early adopters. But Oasis Network could change all of that. With its unique privacy-enabled smart contracts, Oasis Network is opening up a whole new world of possibilities for DeFi. But what exactly is a privacy blockchain, you ask? Well, it's a way for transactions to take place without competitors or unwanted third parties having full transparency on each transaction and data shared. And this is where Oasis Network really shines. With its ability to provide privacy and security for sensitive data, Oasis is the perfect solution for enterprise networks. In fact, the potential for real-world adoption is huge. The move towards online security, data privacy, and owning your own digital identity is growing rapidly. And that's not just limited to the financial sector. The healthcare industry, for example, is one area where privacy-enabled smart contracts could be, have a huge impact. Imagine being able to securely store and share medical records without the worry of unauthorized access or data breaches. And it isn't just limited to healthcare either. The financial sector and even social media could also benefit from the added privacy and security that Oasis Network provides. With the ability to limit transparency and only share what is necessary, users can have greater control over their online identities and protect their sensitive information. Currently, when you sign up to a social media account, such as Facebook, that is access is granted to you free of charge. You input your data and whether you know it or not, that social media company, in this instance, Facebook, can harvest that data, whether it be the information you input, anything that you post, things that you like, or even uh, views that you go and see, and they can take that data and then sell it on to someone else. But that data is part of your digital identity. And so this is where Oasis Network could come in because they are offering the ability for you to create an NFT of your digital identity. From that, you could then sell that identity to third parties such as social media companies who could then take sections of that information and move it on for marketing purposes. But the beauty with it being an NFT is you could be paid for each transaction in which that is used. So no longer are the social media companies getting your data for free, but rather you are in control of the data provided and being paid for it. And this is obviously catching on because Oasis Network has partnered with Meta in the past. But how does this all actually work? Well, the Oasis blockchain is made up of two layers, the consensus layer and the paradigms. So let's first start with the consensus layer. This is the backbone of the Oasis network and is responsible for ensuring that all transactions are verified and recorded correctly. The consensus layer uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism, 
with a rotating committee of validators who are responsible for verifying transactions and creating new blocks on the blockchain. Validators are selected based on the amount of ROSE tokens they stake, which means that the more tokens you stake, the more responsibility you have in the consensus process. Moving on to the paradigms. These are essentially the individual blockchains that run on top of Oasis Network. Each paradigm is responsible for its own set of rules, governance, and consensus mechanism. Paradigms are designed to be flexible and customizable, which means that developers can create their own unique applications with their own set of rules and governance. There are three types of parachain built by the Oasis core team already on the network, and they are Emerald, Cypher, and Parcel. Emerald Paradigm has been built to solve the problem of low throughput faced by Solidity developers by increasing throughput of transactions to 1,000 transactions per second and reducing the fees by 99% of what you face against Ethereum. Cypher power time is the confidential smart contract power time, which holds the privacy preserving features Oasis is known for. And then parcel power time. This is the confidential data storage, governance and compute power time, enabling governance, confidential computations and private analysis of data. Developers are required to use a T, trusted execution environment that acts as a secure zone or enclave for smart contract executions. Encrypted data and the smart contract go into the secure enclave and are decrypted. The necessary data processed by the smart contract and then encrypted again before being sent on to the final party. This ensures the private information of the user can't be displayed or provided to unwanted third parties. So how do the consensus layer and paradigms work together? Well, the consensus layer provides the security and scalability for the Oasis network as a whole, while the paradigms provide the flexibility and customization that developers need to create their own unique decentralized applications. Paradigms can communicate with each other and with the consensus layer, which means that they can share data and assets between each other seamlessly. The combination of the consensus layer and paradigms is what makes the Oasis network so powerful. It provides developers with a flexible and customizable platform to build their decentralized applications while still maintaining the security and scalability that is necessary for mass adoption. So let's get into Oasis Network's tokenomics. Oasis Network has a utility token called ROSE. Like many layer one tokens, it is used for the payment of transaction fees, access to various services on the network, and is also used to incentivize validators and stakers. The total supply of ROSE is capped at 10 billion tokens. Upon launch, 1.5 billion tokens were released to the market. As we can see in the diagram, a significant amount of the token distribution is to effectively the team, with around 75% being held by the team, backers, community and ecosystem, leaving around 25% for staking rewards. The token release schedule has shown two large increments uh, in the past of tokens being released. And we can now see a step release over the next 10 years, leading to around about seven and a half billion tokens in circulating supply. Rose token is an inflationary token. And whilst that started off at 12%, it's currently in and around 6%. Over the next few years, we can look to see that that inflation rate will continue to drop and be circa around 2%. As of the first week of April, 2023, Rose is trading in and around six cents, down from its all time high on the 15th of January, 2022 at 59 cents. It currently has a market cap of just over $300 billion and a 24 hour trading volume of around about 46 million. As mentioned, the circulating supply is just over 5 billion tokens. So around about 50% of all tokens are currently in circulation. We can see that the token launched around about the end of December 2020. And as with a lot of other tokens during the 2021 bull run, it saw some particularly good growths, peaking in January 2022. Since that time, as well as a lot of other altcoins, I should add, the price has fallen off significantly, down 90% from its all time highs. However, we have seen over the past nine months a period of consolidation from around about three cents to 10 cents. Rose token is available in a wide range of exchanges, particularly on Binance, Qcoin, and Coinbase, 
and a variety of smaller exchanges. Oasis Network has a good social following. Twitter accounts, GitHub, Telegram, Reddit, YouTube, and Discord. The community is growing and the numbers are quite significant. Obviously, this is important because during the next bull run, whilst the, we do rely on um, user development and revenue, we also require social media to drive um, awareness of any project uh, to help that grow. Oasis Network does have a lot going for it. However, there are some issues that need to be considered if this is something you're looking to invest in. The biggest one for me is it is another privacy coin. And we have seen in the past that regulatory bodies have not taken favorably towards privacy coins. Whilst nothing has been directly attributed to Oasis Network yet, the question would be whether or not this is just a matter of time, particularly with how the SEC and other regulatory bodies are acting for the United States. Is it just a matter of time before they crack down on privacy coins? The EU has already implied that they may look to crack down on privacy coins such as Monero. And should Oasis fall into this category, my concern would be that is it actually old enough to survive uh, such a hindering on its growth? My other concern is its user base. And there are dApps that have been built on it. However, the information on that is relatively limited and the revenue that's been provided from that is generally unknown. Now, for a ecosystem and a project to survive, we need an ecosystem to be built upon, which is bringing in revenue. My other concern is competition and not just from the crypto space and decentralized space, but actually for more centralized authorities. We touched on social media earlier and they make billions of dollars every year on selling our personal data. And whilst yes, it is key to see, well, it is good to see that social media giants Meta have partnered with Oasis Network. They're not just gonna allow us to walk in and take a large share of their revenue each year. So whether or not they look to adapt and bring something in so they can keep hold of the majority of the revenue, stifling any particular growth for Oasis Network. Again, that's not solely limited to Oasis Network, but rather the entire sector within the cryptocurrency. But again, for me, it's something that needs to be considered. Competition from within the crypto space include uh, projects such as Monero, Secret and Enigma. And so there are plenty of others out there that could also eat into their market share. Overall, I was presently surprised with Oasis Network. I'd never really heard of it before. It was something that has definitely piqued my interest. I think it has a genuine use case across a wide range of sectors, both in the centralized and decentralized spaces. I particularly like the way you can turn your online digital data into an NFT, which can then restrict and also pay you for people accessing that in the future. However, my biggest concern is something I have not just with Oasis Network, but with the whole sector of privacy coins, privacy blockchains. And that is the regulatory crackdown that we're starting to see on some of the bigger ones. If that gets uh, rolled out wide field across all privacy blockchains and privacy tokens, then I do see Oasis Network struggling. Yes, there's always going to be competition in the market and Oasis needs to make sure that they position themselves to better that, whether that be from inside the cryptocurrency space or centralized companies. Overall, for me, it's a wait and see. I just want to understand where regulatory stuff is going, but it's certainly going to be on my watch list and I really do hope that it grows in the future. Right, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video on Oasis Network. I hope you found it informative. If you did and you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing these more regularly, at least one a week going forward. If you have any suggestions of other topics you'd like me to cover, any projects you're interested in, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to add those to the list. All that leaves me to do right now is just say thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.